sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Yesterday I was at a birthday party and I ran into a quilt that I made 10 years ago for my granddaughter. I used three and a half inch drunkard's path quilt blocks that I put together using a cardboard template that I had made and I thought I'd show you today how I went about doing that. So let's get started. To make my Drunkard's Path template, I began with a piece of paper and I drew a square. And for today's video, I'm making my square four and a half inches. And in my little quilt, baby quilt, I used a three and a half inch square. So this is just a little bit bigger than my quilt. I cut out my square and then I used a compass to draw that quarter circle in the corner. And I didn't measure, I just drew it um, sort of how I might like it to look. Maybe about halfway up one of the sides. So there I drew my quarter circle and I cut it out. And to get a template made, I need some cardboard and I'm just using a cereal box here. And I used my paper pattern to draw on the cardboard. And what I'm gonna need to do after I draw my shape is I will need to add a quarter inch seam along that curved seam there. So I'm gonna take a ruler and just make some little quarter inch dots away from that line and then I will just use my pen and go dot to dot, and this will be my quarter inch seam. I took my other piece of paper and again I just drew around the shape and then I added a quarter inch seam onto that curved seam on this piece as well. And then I cut it out with some scissors, of course not my sewing scissors, we want to keep those nice and sharp for fabric. So I have my two templates ready to go and I will just cut my fabric pieces using my cardboard templates. And to put my two pieces together, I found the center by just finger pressing and finding the center of that curved seam. And I will pin right, put those folds together. I'll put the quarter circle on the bottom and I'll pin on the top, one pin in the center, and then I'll use a couple more pins around to the edges and you'll see at the edge, you have a little tiny bit of that green turquoise color coming. It doesn't match up exactly at the end, which is okay because that's where your seam is. And we are going to trim this block and make sure that when we're done, it's four and a half inches. Thank you. 
This is what I call a fiddly block. It's uh, kind of tricky, but it is worth it in the end and it's kind of fun, challenging and I think challenges are sometimes kind of fun. So um, after I sew my seam here, I will press and then I'll trim and make sure it is four and a half inches. So when I was done, there was very little trimming necessary. I got it just right and now I'm ready to make some more. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.